lately I've been noticing that people that either have lost their job or just, you know, in a situation where they don't have any money and there's a certain amount of stress that comes along with that because I notice in that when they when they laugh it's that um, that real nervous broken laugh you know like when things are going great for you you know when you're feeling good and you'd be yeah <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> right good realistic example but when things are not going too cool it's that yeah <laughs> yeah and you know what I'm saying and I'm like they be talking so loud I like to listen to my music pretty loud you know I have my headphones on and I can hear it through the headphones it's one of those real annoying as one of my good friends call it the loser laugh and I'm hearing that shit more and more and more each fucking day and it doesn't matter what nationality it is and like I was saying before in my other videos is that a lot of well last I checked 50% of the country in America are not working and then um, among other things that come with it so when people see that you're not worried and they got that nervous ass laugh or they be talking I'll give you a good example you ever notice like people that like to be the life of the party they might have had a real nice job you know what I mean they was the life of the party they like to be the center of attention but because of the fact they didn't lost their job and they're trying to hide that is bothering them in front of their peers and there again it's that nervous ass loud ass talking I, I don't know if they're doing it on purpose might be unintentional mm -hmm. but the shit is annoying and then again, then when they see somebody like me that's not worried, they really, really, really fucking show it. Yeah, it, it, it turned into that nervous laugh to player hating laugh mixed together with the nervous, fearful loser laugh. Yeah, it gets real fucked up. And it's women, guys, you know, it's just, it's really getting fucked up. And I'm just like, the part that's tripping me out is that these are total fucking strangers giving you to look like you supposed to be obligated to feel that you should lend them a fucking hand. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, if, if, shit, if I didn't walk out of McDonald's and shit and I got 20 motherfucking cheeseburgers and a family is hungry, yes, I will give them a few hamburgers. That's not a problem. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not walking out of Mac motherfucking McDonald's with 20 motherfucking cheeseburgers. These are complete total strangers that because I don't look worried, I supposed to feel obligated to tell them how they can look the same. I'm like, look, you have the World Wide Web, commonly known as the Internet. You can put anything in the search engine and hit search and it'll pop up. OK, to get you some damn money. I highly recommend you do the same motherfucking thing. But of course, we live in a fucked up world. You know that song, The World is a Ghetto by that group War? Now, nah, motherfuckers want the, uh, I, I guess they want the, 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 the easy way, as we would call it, but it's really no easy way. You may learn how to do something a lot faster and cutting out all the bullshit by usually staying away from people that's full of shit. And that's a lot of motherfucking people. You know what I mean? And you get down, you handle your business. You know, people seem to see you when you are no longer making mistakes. You know, that's the thing. I've made my mistakes. I just know and understand what to do and how to do it and when to do it versus when I didn't. And, uh, of course, they want to get all mad and shit. And it's, and it's really fucked up because it's going to get rapidly worse out here. And I'm just like, well, I'm sorry that you're going through this shit, but I'm not here to save you. You know, motherfucker.